Touchscreen keyboards have been getting better in recent years, but if you're looking for a typing experience that offers the same level of flexibility that you'll find on your PC or laptop, they're still a long way behind. Or at least, most of them are. Clavis Keyboard hopes to do something about that, giving you access to keys and shortcuts that your average stock or third-party keyboard can't offer. The app is designed for tablets, and while it does welcome phones, the smaller screen size means that buttons can be a little fiddly. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create your own custom shortcuts in the app, answer some questions about Clavis, and give you a quick rundown of how the rest of the app works. You'll need the free version of the app, which you can get from the Play Store. If you like what you see, then it's well worth upgrading to the paid version. Step 1. Once it's installed, head to the Google Play Store and download Clavis Keyboard free. Once you've downloaded and installed the free version of the app from the Play Store, it'll walk you through a few options to get the keyboard set up as your default. Check the relevant bo boxes, accept the warnings, and after about a minute, you'll end up on this screen. Set the hotkeys. Tap on the button marked Settings, and then Macro Settings, and you'll be taken to this menu. All of the hotkey options should be blank. It's up to you to fill them with relevant, useful shortcuts. We'll give you a few suggestions as we work through the tutorial. The first key. Tap on the first empty macro and you'll get a pop-up text box. This is probably the first time you'll have used Clavis Keyboard, so take a moment to get used to the layout and familiarise yourself with the differences between this and the mobile keyboard you're used to. Start off. We'll start off with a simple macro that lets you type in the address of your favourite site with a simple combination of taps. Write the URL in the box, and when you're done, tap the OK button. Congratulations, you've made your first Clavis hotkey. Now head to your browser. To check the hotkey is working, you'll need to use it in a text box. However, you can't just push Ctrl once, you'll need to hold it down as you would on a PC keyboard. It takes some getting used to, and the keyboard definitely works best in landscape mode. Back to macro. Another useful hotkey shortcut is the one that lets you write down your email address with a simple couple of taps. You'd be surprised how much time it will save you. So for the second key, type in the email address you use most often, and when you're done, tap the OK button. That is our Clavis keyboard tutorial. Uh, you can also read this in Android Magazine issue 55, which is available in store and online now.